You are watching YETicket.com with Al McGee, movie reviews and interviews. This is YETicket.com, YETicket.com, your entertainment ticket. We are your entertainment ticket, that's right, YETicket.com. We are your entertainment ticket, that's right. Hey, this is Al McGee with your entertainment ticket at www.yeticket.com. The film I'm going to talk about right now is called Pan. Hey, this is the prequel to Peter Pan, you know. And uh, do you really care? Do you really want to see what happened to Peter Pan before the story opens up about the real Peter Pan? Well, let me tell you a little bit about this movie. First of all, it's a... Uh, Director Joe Wright and uh, screenwriters Jason Fuchs, and this is Hugh Jackman, Garrett Helen, Rooney Mari, Levi Miller, Amanda Sitfried, and Adele Ektar. Well, this prequel starts off you know, the movie starts off. Well, you see this woman carrying this kid, a little baby, she drops the baby off at an orphanage. I mean, I think you might see some fairies or something following this woman. And she left some, a note in the basket, and the kid is at a orphanage. Ah, but then we go to 12 years later, where we meet Peter Pan. He's 12 years old. Now, at this time, though, London is in World War II, where the Germans are dropping bombs on the orphanage. But Peter, they're in the orphanage with the other little boys. You know, he's very inquisitive. He asks questions like, hey, how come there's no more bacon with this oatmeal or the gruel that they're eating? Hey, how come we're not eating good like we used to in the past? Hey, what's this nun doing with all the food? He's curious about that. Then he noticed that some of the boys are missing. And he said, what's going on with them? Where are they going? Some of the other boys in the orphanage said, well, they got adopted. They ran away. You know, those are stories. But ha, ah, but Pan decided to go into the main nun's office. He breaks in there, find all this gold, all this excess food. And you see this nun, you know, she gets mad about that. Now, that scene kind of reminds me of Philomena. Remember in Philomena, the Catholic nuns were selling the babies or those pregnant girls in that orphanage there in that story? Hmm, what's, what's going on with these Catholic nuns selling kids and things like that? But then the Catholic nun, she gets mad and she pulls up this black flag while London is being bombed on. Yeah, the Germans are bombing it and things like that. But then we see this flying pirate ship, a flying pirate ship. They pick up some of these kids. Of course, they picked up Peter, some of the boys. And then next thing you know, they're in Neverland. But when you get to Neverland in the film, they're singing a song. And the, sing is, the song is called Smells Like Teen Spirit. You know, Nirvana song? And I say to myself, this is so confusing. Why are they singing this song while these boys are in a mine digging hard and looking grubby and not eating well and singing a song Smells Like Teen Spirit? It really threw me off right then and there. And then you see Blackbeard the Pirate, which is played by Hugh Blackman. Hugh Jackman, that is. Hugh Jackman. So I said, wait a minute. And then later on in the movie, they sing Blitzkrieg Bop, the Ramon song. Again, those songs didn't make any sense for the movie whatsoever. But Peter is there, they're in the mine, and they're picking Pixum. Yeah, Pixum. What is that? Anyway, uh, is that related to pixie dust? But again, you see Blackbeard, he's in his room. He takes a rock, he takes a pipe, he put the rock in the pipe, then he lights it up, and then you notice that uh, Blackbeard turns younger. And you see the old Blackbeard before he it takes the hit. Hmm, well, it's not fairy dust, but it seems to be more like rock crack. That's what it reminded me of, crack. Uh, 
But again, that's in the story. What does that mean? Is that the only way you can get the powers by smoking it? What kind of message is that giving kids? You know, what kind of message did it give me? Well, that message was smoke and get young. But anyway, so Peter Pan, you know, he's there for his first day and Blackbeard uh, accused him of something. And remember the, the kids, in order to get punished or killed, they uh, pushed overboard. So Peter gets pushed overboard and they realize that he can fly. Well, he also realized he can fly too. But then Blackbeard said, hmm, this is strange. And also I gotta be aware of this kid because there is a rumor or a fable or a tale that says some kid is gonna destroy him. And also Blackbeard is killing off the fairies in Neverland. And there's another group fighting Blackbeard. And, you know, so they finally capture Peter. And, you know, I think you've seen this story before. Oh, yeah, Tiger Lily is in this, too, played by Rooney Mara. Um, normally, that's a role for Native Americans. But here we got a white woman playing Tiger Lily. And she's a truly one who uh, kind of survives in this film. Too many mixed messages in this film. And also, I never understood the other pirates who was following Blackbeard. What were they getting out of following him? I mean, they weren't fighting for no treasure or they were just killing fairies. So why were they following Blackbeard? Oh, here's another one too. And Peter in the mines meets Hook, he's a cowboy. They become friends. Man, I tell you, all these mixed messages, messages for this film. I will admit it's colorful. I saw it in 3D. It was great to look at. But if you really dig in the story, to me, I did not enjoy it whatsoever. The acting was okay. It was all right. It, it wasn't exceptional to me. In fact, this film was not exceptional to me whatsoever. I'm only going to give this two palm trees. It's an average film. And I did not enjoy the story. I did not enjoy many of the characters in this. And I, I just couldn't enjoy it. Maybe because the little boy in me did not come out when I saw this film. Pan. Maybe it'll come out in you. Well, I want to thank you for watching this review of Pan, an average film with me. Thank you for being with me, Al McGee, here at Your Entertainment Ticket at www.yeticket.com. We are your entertainment ticket. That's right. Yeah, We are your